G'day one and all and welcome back to my channel. Today is really hot. It is 33 degrees right now. Honestly, I feel like it's way hotter. Oh, and I want to show you someone. One second. This is Kitty. She's just chilling up at the shed with me at the moment. She's a really good kitty. Anyway, I just wanted to show you her. She's just been chilling up here with me for a bit, so, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm totally going for a swim after this. Anyway, well, I want to show you guys all the uh, presents that I've gotten so far, because it was my birthday yesterday. Oh, and um, on the 12th of November, so, um, if this video is not out, then that is the reason why. But the main reason why I have not been uploading is because my computer has shat itself. And um, honestly, a lot of videos are probably gonna come all at once. And yeah, so um, I did have a lot of videos planned, but my computer shat itself, so it's not working at the moment. And it's just, yeah, not good. So anyway, I'm just gonna do, probably upload these videos super late and hopefully I'll keep can keep up to date with you but that's pretty much the only reason why I haven't been uploading my computer shut itself so but anyway I thought I'd show you what I would that I have got for my birthday so this is this is a video not to brag or anything uh, I just thought that these uh, particular items were really awesome so yeah and I will be getting some more tonight, which it, my birthday was yesterday, which was a Tuesday, and today is a Wednesday. I'm going over to Nathan's family uh, for dinner, so um, I might get more presents than I might not, but if I do, I'll let you know. So the first um, present that I got were these gloves. Now they are the black Dublin gloves. Just um, an all-purpose, um, I don't think they're for show. But yeah, they're my new gloves. I pretty much wanted to start getting um, show wear and everything, so I got my show um, gloves, and I also got my show boots. Now, this is really awesome because I honestly didn't think that I would get these. I thought I'd get a gift voucher to go get them, but my lovely fiance got these for me so yeah and I love them to pieces again they're by the brand Dublin I honestly love um, Dublin um, clothes wear just because they make really good quality stuff so these are my new black boots and I am very excited to try them out and everything um, if you guys want me to do a try on video I can do that, I guess. <laughs> There's not much stuff, so I'm just showing you pretty much. That's pro I probably won't do a try on video. But yeah, no, so this is the lovely boots that I got from Nathan. My auntie got me these gloves. And my mum and dad, they got me this HV Polo rain jacket. Now I needed a good rain jacket because, especially at the beginning of the year, it seems that's when we get all our rains. And I have a feeling after this whole drought and heat wave is gets over itself, we're going to have a lot of rain, like a lot, a lot of rain. And uh, I feel like that's going to happen. So after this drought has finally been not declared, but yeah, so when the rains come back again, pretty much I will be using this jacket. Now this jacket is awesome. It has a detachable hoodie. It has the uh, stretchy hair materials. It also has um, the back as well. So there's no loose bits when you ride. And of course, you gotta have those pockets. So HV Polo is not a brand that I would normally go for. Um, but, you know, I needed a rain jacket. Very happy with this um, purchase and I really look forward to wearing this jacket, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and it is so comfy and it is just a nice waterproof, breathable 
very nice material. So that's all the stuff that I've gotten so far. Um, I honestly haven't gotten anything else. Uh, I don't expect to get much for this birthday. It's an exciting one, so. But I think it's still pretty awesome that I get this kind of stuff. And I want, I did want this stuff. It's just nobody knew what to get me. So I'm real. I'm going to be really surprised at what um, the largies get me um, <laughs> when um, I go to, um, to theirs tonight. But I got to survive um, work in the afternoon, so that's going to be fun. So anyway, um, for today anyway. <sighs> so I'm going to end that video here, but I'm not going to do an outro because I still got to give you what the largies get me. So. See you in the next video. Side note, I forgot to mention, I'm getting Flinny's saddle soon. I don't know when, but I will be getting it. Um, I don't know. I might either get it Friday or I might get it Thursday. Um, I'm not too sure, but I will definitely be getting it sometime this week. So stay tuned for that. All right, good day one and all. I'm just in my car and we've just arrived at the Horseland Gold Coast. So like, I'm in my car <laughs> and I am clearly not going to vlog this whole endeavor um, just because I don't really want to make people uncomfortable. And I am a very socially awkward person as well as, so I definitely don't want to feel awkward. So what's pretty much going to happen is I will um, obviously a vlog when I come back into my car and um, that'll be that I won't even vlog a little bit inside uh, just because I am definitely not up to that vlogging standard of going in and annoying people with my camera that's just me I just I, I can't do it and I'm also too early the shop hasn't even opened yet so um, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm only a couple of minutes too early and that's okay. I'll just wait until, um, um, a little bit after so I can go in and yeah, I'm planning to make this somewhat quick. I mean, I'm probably going to gawk around cause I haven't actually seen this, um, horse land before. So it's going to be very interesting. I'm actually doing pretty well vlogging in my car. I'm sorry if I'm looking around. I'm just making sure nobody's looking at me. It's like, <laughs> super excited. Like I said before, I'm going to gawk around this horse land because I've actually never been to this horse land before. I always go to the one in Underwood, never the Gold Coast. So, oh, trip and a half to get here, let me tell you that. Oh, but I got here relatively early anyway. So, 8.30 that they open and I got here at like 8.20. So, yeah. It's almost 8.30. I can almost go and annoy them. But yeah, I'm gonna chill for a bit longer and then I'll go in, okay? <laughs> See you soon. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so what happened was obviously the saddle was a little bit expensive nonetheless, but that wasn't, that was all right. I was planning to spend that much money. Um, but the thing was, <laughs> Wayne and Sandra gave me a hundred dollar gift voucher, right? Well, I s obviously spent more than a hundred. Let's just say that. And, um, hmm, I didn't mean to. <laughs> um, the saddle was probably the most amount of money and that uh, I, I knew that. Like, I got this saddle for a pretty good price. Um, but the thing was, um, <laughs> I obviously spent more than a hundred dollars because they gave me a hundred dollar gift voucher, but um Yeah Anyway, I got some stuff <laughs> But I'm going to drive all the way back home first before I, I even show you Cuz I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, I'm gonna drive home now. I'm truly and utterly done with the day <laughs> I've just spent so much money in such a quick time today it's honestly ridiculous but every you do at horseland but anyway i'm gonna go home i'm gonna show you my brand new saddle and everything i'm so excited i got all the gear for it and everything so i'm gonna do it up obviously as soon as i um get home um but yeah thank you to the ladies who helped me i'm sorry uh gillian or jillian i forget her name 
but I wish I could I wish she was there for me um, because I, I feel like yeah no she was such a, a helpful lady and everything and I definitely wish she was here kind of thing I, I feel really bad I might call later on and um, be like yeah so um yeah she was very nice and she's like even offered to bring it out to my hometown so I didn't have to drive all the way here but I really wanted to check this place out uh, this place is probably a little bit smaller than Underwood the one that I normally go to but the thing was um, I like their stuff because they had uh, more of a variety of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go home because I'm hungry and I'll show you all this stuff later and I'm just running on pure adrenaline at the moment. So I'm going to go home now. Alright, I'll see you when I get home. Bye. I am, I am finally back. I am starving by the way. Oh my god. I hate driving. Oh, I'm sorry. I just needed to stretch. Oh my god, there's so much stuff now. What have I done? <laughs> Alright, well, before we unveil this lovely spendings, I am going to eat something. I don't know what. I think I'm going to eat the beef strong enough with the potato and the pasta. Mmm, carbs. Anyway, I'm going to eat that because I'm hungry. I'm going to do that first, and then I will do the unveiling. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. So Leo. So Leo. How's my toast muscle? We're going to be opening some of uh, presents. So pretty much uh, what I did was I went to um, Horseland at the Gold Coast and um, I got a saddle fitting on the last day of um, Rally Day, um, the last day of Pony Club more so than anything, so the last Rally Day. And um, we did a saddle fitting and I did a saddle fitting for Flinny. If you haven't met Flinny, go watch uh, my... Um, meet Flinny video. He is a very lovely horse to say the least and he's very cheeky and honestly I can't wait to start riding him. Um, we definitely need a bit of a bond happening before we do start riding however so um, I will be doing a lot of groundwork with him so um, he can um, get used to me, get used to everything that I'm about to do with him because uh, he kind of hates me at the moment. If you also hadn't noticed um, and he does have an injury at the moment and unfortunately I have to uh, wrap it up and everything and it's taking its sweet timing to heal but that does not matter um, what matters is the whole thing so the main reason why I went to Horseland is to get the saddle okay um, one of the ladies um, who helped me actually do the saddle fitting um, very nice lady by the way her name is Gillian 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 I think it is and she was a very lovely lady and she helped me out a lot. She, I had a trouble with my chiropractor um, for my horses and everything and I thought he was a bit dodge. And then she's like, oh, I recommend this person. And she was very helpful with doing the saddle fitting and everything. She's actually saddle fitted the saddle to my horse. So it's going to be awesome. I can't, honestly, I can't wait to try it on Flinny and everything. But as I was there um, last night, um, the Largies, which is Nathan's um, family, um, were so um, kindly um, gave me for my birthday um, a hundred dollar gift voucher from Horseland. So I was like, I might as well go there today and see what happens. So yeah, um, and it just so happened that I woke up super early today and um, I'm back before I actually had to start work. So, and I, I've got some. I got some time. It's not even lunchtime yet. It's like 11 o'clock now. I've just had lunch, by the way. I was super hungry and everything, but I thought I'd explain to you a little bit about this video, a little bit more in depth anyway, um, before I start opening up. But yeah, so um, 
yeah and so I, I I obviously spent more than a hundred but I got a hundred off so yeah um, so I'm going to show you what I got with my hundred dollar gift voucher okay so how about I start off small I think I'll start off small okay. the first thing I got were miracle brushes now Flinny, I mean Ringy has a miracle brush, he has a blue one and I thought I'd get these two. Now um, there was uh, there was these two colours and a red and blue one, right? And I thought the red one would be awesome for Flinny but apparently the blue one wouldn't have been as great for Abby. So I, I decided and it's really funny because I can't find very many red brushes. Um, uh, for flitting so I normally the next best color I can get is pink um, but yeah, so I Got those and they were pretty cheap. They were Actually, I'm not gonna tell you that so they were pretty cheap and they came in a bundle. So that was that um, The next thing I got <laughs> The next thing I got was a fly mask. Now this is in for my boys. It is actually for another, um, and it, it's it's a little one. So I'm not going to tell you about that because I still haven't told you about that. So, aha! <laughs> but I needed to get a fly mask for said mate. So um, yeah. Um, so the next thing I got oh, was something for Abby. Okay, so I got this to Abby. It's a massage brush. Okay, so I got this for Abby because uh, she doesn't really have um, any really nice things, honestly. And, you know, I thought this was a really um, nice idea to give her for Christmas. So this is going to be a Christmas little present for Abby. So... Um, because I already know what I'm going to get the boys and everything, so I thought, <laughs> why not get her this? So, yeah. Um, so that was the other thing I got. Um, <laughs> the next thing I got was a very weird... I don't know why. Um, I don't know why I did what I did, but I did this, so I got a halter. <laughs> it's the Roman um, halter and um, it's it's got the navy, the white and the red and I don't know if you guys noticed but Fellini, um his kind of color scheme for everything is navy, red and white um, so <laughs> like his um, cotton um, um, his cotton show rug and everything they're all navy, red and white um, my um, saddle bag as well as my helmet um, bag as well. They're all navy red and white as well. So I thought that I could get this. And this does, um, it's a full, so it will fit uh, Flinny and Ringy. Um, Flinny is a um, full and Ringy is like a full slash a cob. See, it's really hard to buy for Ringy because I kind of want to measure his, um, I want to get him some boots. Um, just like um, brushing boots or exercise boots or whatever, just just um, for flat work and everything, because he's already got his um, jumping boots and everything, so I just want to get him some flat work boots. And I was going to get him some flat work boots today, but I was so indecisive about more so what to get him, but also his size. See, I don't know whether to get him a cob or a full. So I think next time uh, I will actually measure his leg up and everything, and... Uh, We'll see what happens from there. Um, I mean, his jumping boots are, are full, but see, the thing was, when I tried, I got brushing boots for Flinny. So when I start doing um, uh, flat work with him and everything, um, he's already got his boots for now. And he doesn't know how to jump yet, so that's kind of like not a thing at the moment for Flinny, so I don't need any jumping boots for him. But I know that I tried the brushing boots, his brushing boots, Flinny's brushing boots on Ringy, and they don't fit him. So maybe I should go for the cob for brushing boots, but I don't know. I'll see how I go. Maybe I might go for a cob for him. Maybe? I don't know. So 
Anyway, I'll get more onto that, but I did not need um, um, any boots at the moment. So yeah, I thought this was a really nice thing because it can add to my um, the red and white and the blue. Another thing that I got was travel boots. Now, I, if you've watched, yeah, I think if you watch the Meet Ringy um, video, you, you could see that I have um, full size uh, travel boots and they are freaking massive. So I thought um, if I'm going to start traveling with these two, then uh, Flinny needs his own um, travel boots as well as. So I thought I'd get the navy, the red, and the white, and it also goes well with his cotton um, show hood, I mean, show rug and everything. Um, it goes well with his show rug. So yeah, that's that. So that was the next thing I got. And the last thing I got was um, my saddle, obviously. Okay, so um, this his saddle is a very special saddle because um, Flinny has been with me for a couple of years now, I'll say that, and um, I, I would say a couple of years now. And, um, and I've done only a work, I've only done a year's work with Ringy. See, we, we were doing work before Pony Club uh, um, at the beginning of this year with um, Ringy, but just to get him back into the swing of things and me getting used to him and everything. But I feel like this year I, I put a little bit more of a higher expectation on myself um, because now I'm not just focusing on the one horse, I'm doing the two horses. So it's, it's going to be a lot for me. And I'm going to try to bring you along. I, I really am excited. We're so close to the new year and everything. So I really want to bring you along in my 2020 journey. And I will. Trust me, I will. Um, no way you're hitting this and this. So, but the thing is, I might be quiet for a bit. Just because I will be so busy. I will try. I'll keep on uploading videos. That's going to be my main goal is to try to upload a video as much as I can and everything just so you guys uh, are there and you you can see me develop and develop as an equestrian and a rider and yeah and I, I really am happy to buy this saddle because um, I feel like I don't want to waste Flinny. Um, I, I feel like I still want to work with Ringy. I don't want to lose him so I want to keep on working with him but I probably won't work with him as much as Flinny. Um, I will probably be working with Flinny a lot more than I am with Ringy. Um, I can still ride Ringy for like several more years now. Um, he's only 20... 22, I think? No. I think he's 21 this year. I can't remember. But I know Flinny is like 18 this year, so... Yeah, no, he's got to start getting into work. And I, I know I have a lot more years with Flinny than I do with Ringo, but I do want to start Flinny because I feel like he's going to take a lot longer than Ringy. And I'm expecting Flinny to be exactly the same. I expect him to, you know, this is all new to him, and I expect him to muck up and play up and everything. But I have, I have a good feeling that when we actually finally get into it, he will be a lot more, he'll learn a lot quicker and will do a lot more. So I'm really excited, okay? So I'm still learning as an equestrian, okay? I don't mind if I start at the beginning again, okay? So that way I can improve. So next time I hop on Ringy, we can try something else. Or the next time I hop on Flinny, we can do something different. Like, I always constantly want to improve with my horses. I never want to remain the same. I want to more so improve for them more so than anything. Anyway, I'm kind of getting off topic here. That was just a little bit of a rant on what I want to do next year. I will actually have a video on my goals uh, for next year and everything, but for now, I think the long awaited due, we need to see the saddle. So, let me just get it. All right, so clearly, you know, I have a feeling, I can't remember if it's a wind tech or not. 
It must be. I think it is. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay, so this is my Wingtech um, Endurance Pro saddle. Okay, so let's have a look see. And it is in the color brown. Now, I actually really like the brown. I thought it was actually going to be a lot um, weirder. I don't know. <laughs> That's a really weird way of explaining it. But yeah, no, I, I've never had a problem with my Wintech saddles. I can say that proudly and I can say that now. I've never had a problem with my Wintech saddle, so I'm very much looking forward to this Wintech saddle. Okay, so here it is. Um, I'm pretty sure they have also fit it to my horse. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell you all the um, um, nitty gritty kind of stuff that the um, Wintechs have to offer, honestly. Check them out. They're an actually really good saddle. Um, and I have had no problems with them at all. Not with cleaning them, not with storing them, not with them fading, not with them anything. I still have my black one with Ringy and he, it's amazing. Honestly, I, I can't wait to try this on to Flinny. Hey, so excited. But anyway, I'm gonna put this down. And obviously I bought some stuff for the saddle because it doesn't have its stirrup levers, it doesn't have its stirrups, and it also doesn't have its girth. So I'm gonna, I needed some of that, so I was like, might as well buy that while I was there. So we got the stirrups. I hope they fit me. I think they have. Um, we have the girth. Now, you may notice that the girth is black, and <laughs> yeah, they didn't have any brown. So I don't really mind, honestly, because, you know, it's Flinny's first stuff. I'm not going to be too worried. And if I, you know, if they have a sales on girth and I happen to find, and if this one is, you know, too small or whatever, um, and I happen to find a, um, a brown um, girth that is on sale, then I'll get that. And, you know, like I said, if this one is, um, doesn't fit him, then obviously I'll take it back. So, you know, it does, it does not really bother me at all, honestly, okay? So, yeah, I'd love to go back to Horseland. Excuse to go back to Horseland. And we've got our stirrup leathers. So, I am going to obviously put all these on. <laughs> so, I kind of messed up. I feel like an idiot, honestly. Um, what happened was, right, there were two stirrup leathers there, right? And we were like, oh, I wonder why she put them there. Um, and now I know why. I'm an idiot. I didn't even think twice about it. So pretty much there was two stirrup leathers there, right? And one was the normal holy one where you can just keep on adding holes if the stirrup leathers are too big. These ones, you cannot adjust. That is the shortest length that they have. I majorly effed up on that. That's my bad. Um, but I have to get stirrup leathers now for those because those are way too big for me and I can't get someone to adjust them quite devo about that but that's all right my mistakes have been learned I want I probably could take them back anyway um so yeah I should have got the ones with the holes because I didn't even realize I am a major short but, but that's okay. I can still try on the saddle. I can just always um, nick uh, ringy stirrups because uh, I know that they fit me and everything. But um, when I go to Horseland next, I will be definitely uh, uh, changing those over. I feel stupid. 
No, I, sh I should have realized that. And they those will be way, way too um, big for me. Redoing them, so I'll just send them back. That's my bad. But everything else in the saddle is perfect. It's just that. And I completely mucked up on that. So I'm gonna see if I can take them back and hopefully get a refund uh, or at least exchange them for the other ones. My bad. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to take those stirrup leathers off um, <clears throat> and put them back in their packaging so yeah and then I'll show you later. So I'm pretty devoted that that had to happen but oh well you live and you learn. So I will return them another day when I go down to the Gold Coast um, so yeah. And here's just a, another little overview of the saddle. So yeah. So I'm probably going to end that video there. I'm going to devour that I don't have my full saddle here, but that does not matter. It happens. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a good old like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.